Yeah. Um, thanks, Kerlick. Well, uh, you've got to admire Fine Gael for their consistency uh, in championing the interests of the landlords and the developers uh, and protecting the interests of corporations. Uh, their ability to do this on a consistent and ongoing basis is truly uh, staggering. Uh, and even more staggering uh, when you consider that it was policies of uh, giving tax breaks and incentives to landlords and developers uh, that precipitated the greatest economic uh, crisis this state has ever seen. And here we are again, uh, and they're up to the same uh, tricks. Uh, the same misguided, dangerous uh, economic uh, policies that precipitated that crisis in the first place. Um, and uh, I don't believe that's in any way rhetorical or an exaggeration. In fact, quite frankly, I don't think you could exaggerate the extent of the stupidity of uh, these uh, policies uh, and uh, the sort of political uh, amnesia uh, that is required to pursue these uh, policies, given what happened to this country, uh, is really quite staggering in its uh, proportions. Um, I mean, in broad terms, it is absolutely accurate to say that this was a uh, budget which gave absolute crumbs to working people and uh, gave a bonanza to uh, developers and uh, to landlords. Uh, the famous 1.2 billion euro of fiscal space uh, that was divided up, leaving literally crumbs for the vast majority of ordinary people or for the public services which desperately need a huge boost in, uh, in uh, investment and uh, funding. Uh, insofar as some of that money was divided up uh, across departments and in this miserable little tax break on the USC, uh, all the services and the ordinary workers got were literally crumbs, but the biggest winners by a very, very long uh, margin were the developers and uh, the landlords. Uh, I estimate, although I think when we go through the detail of the finance bill uh, and link that to the budget as a whole, uh, we are talking about at least half a billion or more of the overall fiscal space was given to landlords and uh, developers. Not all of it in this finance bill, quite a lot of it in the expenditure side, uh, but between the jigs and the reels of uh, tax and expenditure, the landlords uh, had a bonanza. The landlords and the developers uh, had a bonanza. The uh, broad uh, uh, evidence, if you like, to confirm that, 110 million for uh, private landlords in the form of the housing assistance payment scheme, 137 million in the form of the rental allowance scheme, 200 million in infrastructure grants to private developers uh, for building, private for profit uh, housing, and of course the 50 million in the help to buy scheme uh, which is contained uh, in, uh, this, uh, in this bill. And add to that uh, the interest deductibility uh, uh, section, another handout uh, to the uh, landlords, uh, the tax break for renting rooms, another tax break uh, for landlords, uh, and um, we'll get on to discuss some of the other aspects, but all of those, if you just, in broad terms, total them up, that's in excess of half a billion euro given out to landlords and developers. Shocking. Now, you contrast that to what workers got in the miserable 0.5% uh, uh, reduction in the USC burden, which means that someone earning €19,000 gets €1.92 more 
uh, per week. Not even the price of a cup of coffee. That's what they got. That's what workers got, uh, the lowest uh, paid workers. Someone earning 30,000, a little below average, gets €2.94 per week extra. Uh, So that is the miserable, they are literally the crumbs that were given to workers, but half a billion or more given in subsidies, grants and tax breaks uh, to the landlords uh, and developers. It is uh, truly shocking. Uh, And aside from what was given and how that fiscal space was divvied up, of course the other big story of this finance bill and of the budget generally and of successive budgets is the manner in which the uh, Fine Gael have uh, uh, fought uh, relentlessly uh, to protect the uh, most profitable corporations in this country, mostly multinationals, uh, to to insulate them from having to pay their fair share of uh, tax. Uh, But whose profits during the period when the living standards of people in this country have been slaughtered, dropped by 10% uh, to the point we are now 15%. Living standards in this country are 15%, according to Eurostat, 15% below the European average and have dropped 10% during the period uh, of austerity. So we are on a par according to Eurostat, in terms of living standards with, it shouldn't be a surprise, Greece, Portugal, Spain. All the countries that got absolutely crucified uh, during the austerity uh, by uh, the EU uh, fiscal boot boys, the austerity boot boys uh, of the uh, Troika. Uh, But during that very same period, profits have gone through the roof. With only a brief dip In 2008 itself, profits have consistently risen, going, jumping an incredible 44% between 2014 and 2015, uh, where national household wealth, net wealth, after debts are stripped out, has jumped by about 100 billion euro. Uh, since 2012. Uh, But ordinary people's living standards have been uh, slaughtered, dropping by a full 10%. So the, the, the statistics, the evidence are absolutely clear. What has happened under Fine Gael and Labour, and I'll come on to some of the uh, really ironic comments I heard from Joan Burton earlier on uh, about the need for an effective corporation tax rate, uh, which apparently she is now proposing. This is a Labour proposal. Uh, I I actually had to sort of rub my ears when I heard Joan Burton say that earlier on. Uh, Strangely enough, I think we've been proposing that every single budget for the last five years, that we should impose a minimum effective corporation tax rate, just make them pay the 12.5% when they're paying, in the case of the the wealthiest multinationals, paying less than 1%, the vulture funds paying less than 1%, uh, on average paying about 6%. And we've been saying this to Joan Burton and Brendan Howland and Eamon Gilmore for the last five or six years, and they absolutely stonewalled us, accused us of engaging in fantasy politics, told us this was nonsense, that there was no money, uh, th- there was no pot of gold, was the famous uh, expression, and now suddenly in opposition, Joan Burton apparently has discovered uh, that we should have a minimum effective corporation uh, tax rate. And incredibly is even credited as making this suggestion in recent media coverage. Uh, Well, I beg to remind people that we have been arguing this for five years trenchantly, uh, saying we need to look at uh, that effective rate, uh, and that's been against the stonewalling of the Department of Finance, who recycled the nonsense that we got from the government itself, that our effective corporation tax rate was, I mean, how many different figures did we have? But that was hovering uh, around 11.9%, was 10 point something else uh, percent, when it absolutely was not. 
uh, a fact exposed then uh, by the European uh, Union Commission in the case of Apple uh, and God knows what else will come out when the uh, several other companies that are investigating uh, engaging in this tax avoidance with the collusion uh, of successive governments Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael uh, in avoiding billions worth of tax and no serious moves uh, to uh, do anything uh, about uh, to do anything about uh, this uh, when it could be done and done easily. And my God, 12.5% is a miserable level of tax anyway, far below what ordinary workers have to pay, uh, but there's no move uh, to do it. And all that you have to do is take the top line figure of their profits uh, and then impose the 12.5% on that top line before you allow the deductions and allowances. I couldn't get the 2014 figures because I can't work that revenue website at all uh, in terms of the distribution statistics, but in the statistics for 2011, and we know they've shot up since then, there are a total of <clears throat> 39 billion euro of deductions and allowances each year. That's probably jumped considerably since then. 39 billion worth of tax loopholes. That's the vulture funds, that's Apple, that's Facebook, uh, that's LinkedIn, and God knows who else. Siphoning billions and billions out of the tax system with the collusion of successive governments uh, and the Department of Finance. Uh, uh, telling us again and again, no, 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 they're paying an effective rate. Playing accountancy games and trickery uh, with public representatives who are trying to get to the bottom of what is an absolutely massive, obscene tax evasion scandal uh, in this tax haven uh, that is, uh, uh, that is uh, Ireland. And then we get a budget that just carries on uh, with more of this stuff. I mean, the interest deductibility thing, that hasn't been commented much. I mean, comments have already been made about the rent to buy. You know, let me just repeat it. Already, within days on rent to buy, uh, we have uh, property developers increasing prices by uh, 30 and 40,000. The journal.ie did a very good report showing a particular uh, developer, Kingscroft Properties in Delgany, uh, where a house, <coughs> a three bedroom semi, semi, since the budget, goes from 395,000 to 427,000, uh, and a five bedroom uh, a detached house goes from 575 to 620,000 within days of the budget. That's what's happening. Uh, an absolute boon to the developers and the, uh, uh, in the case of uh, the landlords, this interest deductibility. I mean, people really need to know this stuff. The, I, I mean, I didn't frankly know that's, that people, and you know, ordinary people can't go in and say, can I borrow 10 million off the bank to buy uh, an estate, right? You know, you'd be told to take a hike. You can't even get a mortgage. But if you're a rich person, with millions who wants to invest and uh, speculate and profiteer from property. You can go into the bank, you can borrow 10 million, 15 million quid, buy an estate to build or whatever, and then you can uh, write, uh, get a tax break on 75% of the annual interest payments on that loan. Which is going, that loan which is going to give you massive profits, whether you're selling or renting the estate that you bought, 75%, that's before this budget, and then this budget proposes to ramp it up uh, to 80% uh, of the interest repayment can be uh, tax deductible, uh, and that is going to go to 100%. This is just a license for uh, the greedy developers and speculators to profiteer on a massive scale and pay not a cent, literally, of tax. It is unbelievable, unbelievable, uh, while ordinary people are hammered. Uh, the, uh, the SARP tax break maintained for high-flying executives to pay less tax uh, because apparently we need them so much to come over here uh, and teach us how to engage in tax evasion. That's what we're doing. We're giving them a tax break so they can come over here and engage in massive tax evasion uh, in this uh, country. Unbelievable. Uh, Brexit is mentioned. I, fi I finished this. Brexit is mentioned. Uh, and the impact of Brexit. 
Why is Brexit negatively impacting on the Irish economy? Because of currency speculation. That's why. It is the speculators that are affecting the value of the British currency, which is negatively impacting on our economy. Now, wouldn't any government, seeing that, want to do something about currency speculation and speculation generally, and wouldn't they therefore be enthusiastically supporting the proposal for a financial transaction tax to at least impose some tax and some disincentive on these speculators? No, we fight trenchantly against the financial transaction tax to facilitate more of these people coming to the IFSC so they can use Ireland as a hub to engage in speculation all across Europe and all across the world, destabilising economies. And we are facilitating that. I mean, seriously, you couldn't make this stuff up. Uh, So there's a lot more detail to go through a committee, but this is just shocking. It's dangerous, it's unfair, it's unjust. Uh, There's no vision for a fairer uh, distribution of wealth and income in this country. Quite the opposite. It's more about concentrating the wealth in the hands of the greediest uh, minority who who have banjacked this economy over recent uh, years. Thank you, Deputy. And I'll call on uh, Deputy...